number of different facets. So what we're seeing is greater focus in, in both the planning, the type of building materials, their energy efficiency, um, all kinds of things. There's a green print actually from Miami-Dade County that sets for certain things you can do. For example, we're seeing roofs that are more energy efficient. We're seeing greater use of solar panels. We're seeing uh, more drought resistant landscaping being used in order to be more energy efficient and use less water. We're seeing uh, reused building materials uh, for drywall and other things. So we're seeing a huge, a wide array of energy efficient techniques and products. One project that's on one extreme is a project that I'm involved in that is virtually sustainable. It has a solar, it's solar and hydrogen cell powered. It has its own reverse osmosis and desalinization, and it actually has biodegradable biotreatment for domestic uh, waste. So it's, it's really taking uh, hold in South Florida. A public-private partnership is an interesting kind of um, a combined public stewardship between the public sector and the private sector um, for a limited period of time. It's not a privatization of an asset. It's not just simply a contract, but it's typically where uh, a government entity has a public asset and the private sector partners with them, usually offering um, financing, adds the design elements, operates and maintains the asset for a certain period of time in exchange for what we call availability payments. You typically see that with toll roads where you get tolls or the tolls are given to the private entity. The reason, the way it's going to lead is because um, infrastructure is becoming more and more expensive and the local and state governments are stretched, their budgets are stretched. And this is a way to help share the risk um, on a going forward basis, but also offering the private sector um, a good rate of return. Um, it's not a privatization because the government still stays involved, but it's actually a partnership. It's allowing infrastructure to go forward in times of stretch budgets. Well, I think it's critical that uh, we have greater planning uh, in terms of both, not just visionary planning, but also ways of, um, let's say, budgeting and funding and things. Because without it, the wonderful South Florida and Miami that we love, which is based on this a uh, very uh, desirable geographic location, wonderful climate, diverse economy, um, people that are, are flocking here from all over the world. We have to, to continue that. We have to protect these resources, but we also have to continue with job creation. We also have to look to the future. And one of those challenges that we're seeing more and more and learning more about it is uh, basically climate change. So we have to look for sustainability if we want to continue on with the same quality of life and the same geographic location that we all love here. Um, it's, it's critical.